Hi Pisces and welcome to your um, card reading. Uh, this is an oracle card uh, so if you guys did not know this, this is a new series that I'm going to be doing. Usually I put my oracle cards with my readings right. You have the, the other ones that are easier to read but these are a bit different. Uh, last week I used the sacred geometry and uh, this week I'm using the Kali oracle cards from um, Alana Fairchild. Yeah. So um, when I start really like my, my spiritual path, uh, I start, you know, I always got cards or, you know, and I, I tested them all before using them towards the collective because I wanted to see if they really worked. And some of them don't work, but some of them do. And the ones that I do, I do share them with you. So the reason why I put them separate is because when I would do a reading and I would do like the Cali Oracle cards, I wouldn't, would give the invocation and I wouldn't read the whole, you know, what the, the process is. And the process is as important as the invocation. So I was called to do this in this way. And so would, uh, if you're having like obstacles, there's challenges, things have been stagnant, you feel that you've been putting all the hard work and for, towards your path, and things are now moving along, this could help you. So all you have to do is like the video so that it goes into your saved playlist and whenever you wanna come back to it, it's here for you, okay? So well, let's get started. As I shuffle the cards, you got number 33. That's a powerful number, it's a master number. And you got Hanata Kali, and this is your card, Hanata Kali. And I'll leave it right here for you to see, okay? And I will read it to you, we'll start, okay, reading it. Let's see here. Okay. Now, if there's some words that I cannot pronounce, I will pronounce it in the way that I know of it, okay? And I will spell it out for you so you could probably pronounce it better than I do. So let's get started. Beautiful, powerful mother of the sacred universal heart who lives within our hearts as the wisdom and healing power of love. Your heart knows how to heal and how to open, how to break and repair itself to become stronger and wiser than before. Your heart cannot be contained or constrained by what has taken place. Your heart wisdom and empowerment are growing. Soon you shall have the wisdom and courage to accomplish something very important for your soul journey. Trust, the, trust in the invisible workings of a divine love, let your heart be at peace. The journey of the soul is the journey from the head to the heart. Ana, anahata is the Sanskrit name of the heart chakra. Anahata Kali is the goddess who secures the awakening, transformation, and liberation of the heart. Pisces, love is her expression. When Kala Mala, Ma, I'm sorry, when Kala Ma touches the heart, it becomes capable of love that is increasingly unconditional, fearless, and compassionate. Such empowerments often manifest through loss and betrayal. In responding to such challenges, we grow our heart's capacity for love, processing, and healings, healing emotions of grief, betrayal, and anger. Our heart becomes stronger through the process. The human heart is capable of overcoming enormous negativity. It is an astonishingly powerful and beautiful temple of spirit. We can underestimate the extraordinary power of the heart by focusing on its sweetness, love and light as though they were weaker than anger, fear or the consuming intensity of grief. We can only begin to understand the spiritual worlds and how they operate when we let go of the human perspective. A human believes that the heavier and denser something is, the more powerful it is. A heavy emotion like anger or physical situations that appears gridlocked are giving more weight than the intangible realms of spirit. Yet spirit is behind all things, in all things. Being invisible does not impede its effectiveness. If anything, it enhances it. It enhances it. Pisces, for something so seemingly invisible, love has unconquerable power. We affirm this in expression, in expression such as love can move mountains or love will always find a way. Yet we are conditioned to believe that there is more power in what we, when, what we can see and control rather than the spiritual power of love. Such conditioning, wait a second, there's a message coming in. 
Okay, such conditioning pulls us away from the heart connection and into the fear-based belief system that we need to control things or there will be no benefit, no safety, no happiness. However, we can never be safe if we are disconnected from the spiritual home of the heart where all healing, wisdom, true guidance, spiritual protection, and regeneration vitality resides. Pisces, the backlog of emotional pain stored in our hearts can sometimes cause us to shut down even when we know that in closing down our hearts, we lose out on lo love's joy and wisdom. We may go through the motions of living, but without the real emotional juice and revitalizing engagement with life. Kali Anatta brings a message from Divine Mother that she is supporting you in healing your heart. She wants you to connect to more profound joy in your life. As you trust yourself and trust in her, you can heal even long-term karmic scars. You can learn to return to love, to be loved, to live the love within your ever beautiful heart. Pisces, for those who live from the heart space, it can be hard to remember what it was like before, yet many still live in such a way, driven by fear, plugged with anxiety, plagued with anxiety, or plugged, I'm not sure, <laughs> hardened through living in a way that oppresses, that is oppressive to spirit. The Oracle asks you to acknowledge how far you have come and where you would like to go not so much in terms of external markers, but in terms of emotional freedom. If you have been focusing on being on healing a specific issue in your life, the oracle indicates you have the strength, wisdom, and courage of heart to accomplish that. Pisces, for those who have had their heart broken in love or in spiritual communities by friends or family members, by God or life itself, the message here is that something deeper is taking place. The shattering of structures, even of ideas, gives the heart the opportunity to break free and open up to a greater and more satisfying experience and expression of love. Becoming non-defensive, softening and opening to spirit with unconditional trust places you in a position of astonishing protection, empowerment, and grace. Keep your heart open to the Divine Mother. Through that openness, the right thing shall emerge at the right time. The walls we build around our hearts need to be broken down so that we can fulfill our sacred purpose and path. Trust that the pains of your past do not have a place in your future. No matter what appears to be, she knows the way through. Temper your fierce emotions without denying them. Keep bringing yourself back to the center. Continue to find the, find, continue to find the moderate and peaceful resting place within, even as you make radical progress on your path. The oracle predicts the su successful completion of a time of spiritual in initia initiation. Grace yourself with the gift of relief and trust that all is well. So let's look at your invocation prayer or ritual. So take a deep breath in. Rest your hands over your heart and sense, feel or intend to make a heart connection with yourself. Let yourself feel held loved, protected, seen, and cherished. Allow yourself to feel a heart connection with Kali. Your heart and hers are gently spinning in loving and playful dance with each other. Whatever you need to say to her, be it in a prayer, a concern, or a feeling of gratitude, do so now. Speak to her from your heart. Place your hands in prayer at your heart and repeat her mantra several times, feeling your heart connection with her deepening as you do so. And this is what it is. Ja Ma Kali. 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 Allow yourself to be soothed by your presence within your heart as it becomes strong and radiant, shining love for the spiritual benefit of all beings. Finish by bowing, bowing your head to your, to your hands in prayer. You have completed your ritual. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your card and I'll see you soon, Pisces.